So you want to be a 1v3 GOAT, huh? Well, I got news for you. It's actually pretty simple. All you got to do is get you a polite gangster or let him do it. Now, but in all seriousness, the most common questions I come across when meeting people that are trying to get better at the game is, how are you winning 1v3s? How do you know what to do? And it's like, I know what I'm doing, but it's happening so fast because I'm going off instinct, so it makes it hard to explain. So in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down clips and explaining my thought process in these 1v3s. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're on burnout, and my whole team is dead, and they're just sitting there building super on the reses. So I'm, I'm over here desperate for a pick. Let's see, do I have anything over here? Nope. All right, and then here, boom, right here. I'm going to tell you guys straight up. I think 1v3s are pure luck. Pure luck because this falls into how the enemy team plays it. They can easily push you. 3v1 situation. Everybody push you from all sides. Easy. But this guy right here, he flanked around by himself. He departed from his team, flanked around by himself, and tried to 1v1 me. Now tell me, do you think this is a smart decision? Hell no, it's not. So what do you do? This is a 1v1 right here. His teammates aren't with him. This is the perfect opportunity to turn the tables. Now you take it. It's not a 3v1 anymore. It's a 1v1. This is where... The game changes. Push the guide up on my left. And just like that, I have a pick. The guy messed up, flanked around by himself, and now I got a pick. Now keep in mind, the majority of the time, I am one shot after the battle is like that. And I'm forced to leave the res because I can't defend it. Because because I'm one shot. So if that happens, it's fine. Just try, just try again. But fortunately for me this time, I'm able to defend it because I'm full health. So this goes into the next step. Defending the res. You want to try your best to keep this res down because it's a 1v2 now, not a 1v3. So it's going to be slightly easier than before, but that doesn't mean it's going to be super easy now, but just slightly easier. So it's a step in the right direction. Okay, so right here, I go up top and I'm scoped in trying to get another pick. So let's say if I didn't have a sniper, if I had a shotgun, for example. So if I had a shotgun, obviously, guys, you want to get closer, but I'm, I'm not saying don't push in. Just just stick around, you know, get closer to, like, than what I am right now. And, you know, go next to the walls, next to the door, you know, just get close to the res and try to defend as best as you can. But, you know, you just want to try to use your loadout as best as you can. So, obviously, because I'm using a sniper, I put myself at a little bit of a distance, so it's kind of hard for them to get to me. So, you know, just use what, like, adapt to what you have, basically. So, if you're using a shotgun, get closer. If you have a sniper, obviously, give yourself some range so you can snipe some people. You know, just, just pay attention to things like that. And so for this next part, guys, you know, you always want to take up different angles, man. Like, you never want to take up the same angles. You know, you can all, I can always drop down to the left side, drop down to the right side. You know, take up different angles as much as you can. Just keep relocating and try to, like, just trick the enemy so you become unpredictable. One minute left, my friend. They all oh, my God. You, you're dirty. You're nasty. <laughs> Alright guys, I know that happened a little fast, but take a look. So, I force his teammate back with a body shot. I slide to my right. I get shots on this dude. His teammate can't help him because he's too weak. I managed to kill this guy. I know his teammate's still weak because I body shot him. And I pull out the sniper for the easy kill. And just like that, 1v3. 1v3. They had the round one. They had the round secured, but they folded because they lost one guy. So right here, I want to take a look at one more thing before we keep going. So the repositioning part. So take a look, this guy still thinks I'm on the top, and all I did was slide to the right. That guy was so clueless, and by the time he seen where I was, it was already too late. That just shows how beneficial repositioning could be in the game. So keep that in mind, guys. Somebody was looking at the wall. I pushed the guy that was on my left. Oh my god. You, you're dirty. You're nasty. 